everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to make our AI actually be uh, collision detectionable. Yeah, it's a word that I just came up with. It it basically is just going to mean that he can run into stuff and it actually affects him. Cause right now, I'm not going to prove it, but he would walk right through those platforms down there. I mean. It like a ghost almost all right we don't want that you want the platforms to affect them just as much as they affect the player so that's what we're working on today now let's go to the storage UI 2d game window platforms select the second fly I guess and let's move that over to 0.5 because we want it to be in the center so we can get our enemy to actually be affected uh, and it's more central and we can use it easier. That's our goal. Now, let's go to the enemies script and go to the player script. Okay, now you can go over here. And we're going to copy this collision thing from this end above the if not collision. We're going to copy from here up to plats. Actually, hold on. I've got an idea. That I'll show you guys in a second. Right check. One second. Alright, I'm back. Now, we're going to actually increase the performance of our script. Because right now, we're calling plats not once, not twice, but when we add in the left check, we're going to be calling it three times every update. That would be terrible. No, we're not doing that. We're going to remove this line altogether. We're going to cut this line. And all we're going to do is make a new variable up here called flats and start it out as an empty array. Then at the beginning of every loop, we're going to make flats. We're just going to set it, and that way we only have to do it once. It's going to be a very small change, but it'll be a change nonetheless. And now we're going to we need to take in AI as a parameter here. Change all of this to AI. There we go. All right. And now the last thing, instead of having this collision variable, no, 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 no. We don't need a collision variable. We're just going to put AI dot position equals udem two dot new. And remember, we're checking the right, so it needs to be on the left side of this platform p dot position dot x dot scale minus ai dot size dot x dot scale zero ai dot position dot y dot scale zero and then break so we can break out of this loop and speed up our game just a little bit more even then all we gotta do is make a, another function called function left check AI and copy our collision checking over here uh, there we go and now we're going to change all of this player stuff to AI again AI 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 for artificial intelligence and then instead of having collision again no we don't need that what we're going to do is we're going to make it ai.position equals, oh, not position, position, uh, equals udim2.new ai, or p.position.x.scale plus p dot, p dot size dot x dot scale. I can't type today again. 0 ai dot position dot y dot scale and 0 and then of course our break and that's it now we're just going to go down here and after we move the ai we're going to do right check ai left check ai simple as that all right and actually did we move no, we didn't. We need to put that at the very, very, very end. My bad. We need to put that at the end of our loop because we're moving the AI here. 
And now when we test this script, it should work flawlessly. Alright, I'm back! And it is working, it looks like. Let's see. It, that, that, yes! It stopped at the right place. Alright, now we're going to go to players. Player 1. Uh, scroll down. Player GY 2D game window platform. Select the platform here. Move it to point 0.8. And then we're going to move our player, because remember, our enemy follows the player, and we're going to move him to point 0.9, so that our enemy can check if he works going the other way into a platform. And this speeds it up, because now we don't have to see the splash screen, even though Kensai Paitja did a great job. And alright, it works great. So, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like. Or the dislike button. Go respond to the about this video. And I will catch you guys later.